guys, it's DIY Devin here in Vegas. Um, I have some saw horses set up. I'm about to cut my charcuterie board and I'm going to be using this jigsaw today. Uh, make sure you have your safety goggles and gloves on when you do this and let's get started. First, I'm taking a pen and I'm just kind of drawing on the bottom of the scrap wood where I want to cut ideally. It doesn't have to be exact. Now I'm putting my scrap wood into the vise. I'm using two additional little scrap woods so I don't get marks from the vices. It's the only reason why those are on there. And you just want to make sure it's nice and tight for when you start to saw like this. And if you've never used a good saw before, don't be scared. It's really simple. Um, just do a couple of test runs on other scrap first and you'll be good to go. I'm going to keep it nice and flat. And it makes a really, really nice cut. It's really fun to use. I'm just drilling a little hole so I can put some rope through it. And finally I am sanding this with my orbital sander going with the grain and I'm rounding my edges a little bit on this side. So you want to do top, bottom, all the sides and if you want rounded edges you'll just kind of round them down. Step's completely optional, but I had a little wood burning kit with little letters, so I'm just adding a little special something onto each of these. I want to say Bon Appetit and Happy Hour. These kits are really cute, they're like 20 bucks. Next, you're just wetting a clean rag with water, and you're going to get rid of all that sawdust that might still be on there. Um, I went through and did this two times through on each board. So for those of you watching, um, let me know, are you going to try this project soon? It's pretty simple. It's really fun. Big reward. So now I'm going to put the cutting board oil on my um, charcuterie tray. Um, this is just to make sure that you have a board that is food safe. I love this step. I researched a lot about it. There's different kinds of oils you can use. Um, you just want to make sure it's like a mineral oil mixed with some sort of beeswax or something. Um, mine's just an all-in-one I found at Home Depot. It's really simple because um, if your board isn't treated, you could like have meats or um, juices or whatever that kind of seep into the wood and then you're left with some food poisoning later on so you don't want that you want to make sure you treat your board uh, I did several coats of this um, it said two coats um, if it's under an inch and a half but I ended up doing like a couple more uh, I did the entire board front sides back and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight
so excited with how these turned out. I think they're super cute. They're perfect for gift giving. Um, they're fun to bring to party and just leave there as a gift. Um, like, look how cute this turned out. So fun. And then we are going to show you how to decorate it with food. Okay, so now the fun part happens, building your charcuterie tray. I like to start with grapes in the middle. Then I have a So this is the final product. Just have some fun with this. Please make one. Tag us in your photos on Instagram. Um, tag me at DevonDIY or DIYprojects.com. And so excited you're here with me this week. Um, please tune in every Thursday, 1 p.m. We have different tutorial every week with me and I love doing it. So let me know if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see and we will see you next week. Have a good one.